this is the power zone three. Power zone three. And uh, this is the 3.20. We also make the power zone 3.10. They look identical on the outside. Same with dimensions, everything. Mm. The only difference, or two differences, are that on the 3.20, we have two power inlets. So we actually have two power cords going into it. And we have two of the Hafnatec modules inside. The 3.1, we have one module, one power cord going into it. And then I'm gonna walk you through this unique technology, which is the first time ever being used in the world. <coughs> All right. The power zone you see here, uh, a lot of people, they've been asking me, is it a power regenerator? Is it a conditioner? <laughs> is it a filter? What is it? Uh, none of the above. <laughs> uh, I would say it's a power purifier, but it's very, very difficult to put an exact word to it. Because uh, this is the first time ever that we have made something like this. It's the uh, first time ever it's been made in the audio industry and I have never experienced similar outside the audio industry either. Uh, it is an invention by Mr. Paul Hafner from Romania. Um, uh, he's a chemistry engineer. He's been working on this particular technology for 14 years. Um, Paul, he's also an audiophile. He's a music lover. He's very much into this game. Paul has also been a Griffin distributor for many years now. Uh, he's very much into to music and into hi-fi, but also into getting this proper live experience around sound. So uh, what is the power zone? Um, inside the power zone in this model, we have two of the Hafner Tech modules. And what is going on inside the Hafner Tech modules? Um, can be a little bit difficult to understand. But let me put it this way. Um, we do not have any active filtration. We don't have any coils. We don't have any filters. We don't have any capacitors. We don't have any resistors. Uh, we have nothing active going on. Everything is based on uh, uh, metallurgy and the properties, the resonance properties of some specific alloys being used. I cannot tell you about the alloys, what we are actually using, because it's a patent pending. We are having a worldwide patent pending uh, going on right now. Um, uh, so until then, I cannot tell you about the exact alloys. Uh, however, I can tell you that we are not using the same alloys for, uh, for live and neutral and for ground. So the active uh, conductor materials inside, we're using the same type of alloys, but for ground, we're using a different type of alloy. Because on the ground, we focus on speed and we focus less on details. And why do we do that? The reason why we focus a lot on a lot of uh, on, on speed for ground is that uh, all the products you see here, all the components in this system, they talk to each other through the ground. They're all connected through the ground. Um, and what can happen in an audio system is that we can have ground loops going on. We can have crosstalks between products through the ground. Um, but having a much faster conductor material on the ground, and because the ground goes the opposite direction, it goes back to one point than the actual power signal. So then we can eliminate those problems by using a different type of alloy. We are, to, we are down at uh, quantum physics level in terms of the 
metallurgy is being chosen in terms of the size and dimensions of the conductor materials being used. So they are based and they're chosen due to their resonance properties. How do they respond to turbulences? When you send something through a conductor material, things will vibrate, things will resonate. And when you have the three electrons going on, they will be in the same position constantly, but they vibrate, they do like this. And their vibration, they pass it on to the next electron. They will never swap place. They will be in the exact same position all the time, but they vibrate. So the easiest way to explain it is actually when you think about a water pipe system. A water pipe system where you have water running through. If it's not in the right dimensions, you will create turbulences in the water pipes. But having the water pipes in the right dimensions, the right shapes, you will eliminate the turbulences in the water flow and you will actually lay down the waves. It's the same way you can do with power being transmitted through a specific type of metallurgy, a specific type of alloys. With the right size, with the right dimensions, and we are talking the three dimensions, so it's height, width, length. But that's not enough because you have to take other things into consideration. You have to consider the fourth dimension and the fifth dimensions. The fifth dimension we cannot measure. The fourth dimension, which is time, can only be measured in a shock. So you cannot make a whole measurement of it. You can just do it. However, timing is almost everything in terms of music. It's so important that we get timing correct. So what I'm actually going to do right now is that I'm going to shut down the amplifier just for a second. Uh, right now, everything is running through the power zone. Two power cords from the wall into the power zone. All that goes straight to the products. Like I said, nothing active is going on. The power is just running through the power zone, through the metal edges. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's always on when you have power cords on. There is no switch or anything. We cannot switch it off. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So at this moment, uh, all the cables in the system they are Griffin cables except for one, and that's the one going to the amplifier right now. Because Wilfred, you did <laughs> not order it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody bought it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, good. The guy. that's good. That's good. That's <laughs> good. I'm, I'm not blaming you. 